Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Man, what a beautiful day. But it sure didn't turn out this that, that way this morning. It was rainy, drizzly, cold. Now the sun broke out. It's beautiful. Light breeze. It's only like 82 degrees outside, man. I'll take this. All right, been busy. Brought my bench up from the garden since there is no garden. Put it right there. And I needed a way to walk from here to this, because that's where I always park my truck, right there. And I wanted a pathway. And I had these uh, granite slate stones, big old thick things. So I laid them here. Got all my gravel put in for the pole barn building the other day. You saw me offloading it with the excavator. This job is done. Oh yeah, this job is done. Now, beautiful little transition right up to a little sit down area. Nice, okay. Bunch of other things got done too. It never ends, it never ends. Farm life, oh yeah, but uh, that's cool. Keeps you busy, keeps your mind occupied. That's what I like about it, keeps your mind occupied. So, I got out here early, about eight o'clock this morning, and uh, I decided there's a bunch of little things that need to be done around here. So, let me show you what I did. Outside of that little small thing I did on the other side of the pole barn, Put my disc collier on the back. You can see I've got it muddy. And damn, if I didn't accidentally hit something. Shit. I cracked my damn blinker lens on the right side, so I got to order a whole new assembly. Damn it. I didn't even see that until this afternoon. What a bummer. There's a hundred bucks. But anyway, remember that big rock pile that I had right there? I had it there for years. <laughs> Finally got tired of looking at it. Took the excavator, the Kubota tractor, and then used my uh, homesteader dump truck over there. And it took me three loads. And I finally got it all out of there. Smooth this out. So now this pasture here is all nice and clean. The compound is organized. Finally got the last pile of trash up and out. Of course, I'm going to always keep my burn pile, but I just might move it. I'm not sure exactly where I'll move it, but right now it's uh, pretty much in a good spot. I'll leave it there. Growing season's over. Oh yeah, Farmer Tom. So I went ahead and dissed the whole thing in. Outside of a few tomatoes and a couple hot peppers, that was all that this was doing. We went through a drought and now the weather is perfect. I planted early, so I got what I got out of it and the deer ate the rest. That's right, the deer ate the rest. <laughs> let's, let's go see what else I've been doing. Man, it's always maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. The grass is nice and green. Of course, spray in the road, keeping the weeds down on the road. Always, but always do that. Uh, let's go down here. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Oh, I've had. Oh man, the last two weeks have been busy, and I go uh, on a big deck job. I got to do the final bit on it uh, Monday or Tuesday. Finished the hospital up Saturday. That place was a mess, but it got done. Okay, here we go. Now, the one thing I wanted to do is this whole area down here is was really just kind of rough. So the pond, the little pond, really wasn't that big. So now I've got uh, green foliage growing on both sides of the bank or the washout, the ravine that comes off the top of that hill. And this vegetation will help hold the soil in. And that's, that's what I want. I'll let this grow four or five foot 
and it's a great place for rabbits and all kinds of other uh, life to sit in here and kind of eat this little vegetation plus have a water source. Clean this all up up here. Came through here and I made the, uh, the little pond 20% bigger. It was right to here. I dug all this out. A lot of it was washed out from over here. Scraped all that, made this level, and then cut this bank big time. Raised the dam up big time. Put a whole bunch of rock and stone in there. Let me see. I have to get over there. There's a lot of, a lot of all this uh, backfill. I put it all up on this hill right up here and raised this side of the hill or carved it really kind of just made it look prettier and more uh i had a big washout problem right through here so i laid a bunch of big huge blocks in here uh stone and then carved out the edge and threw it all back up here and built the dam much bigger and stronger and taller and more packed in so i raised this up about another 12 to 14 inches and put a bunch of stuff in the back, packed it in there with rock, packed it in there with red clay and mud, just packed it, packed it, packed it. So this is a, now my 20% larger water source. And this will fill up. I still got to raise that side of the pond up right there, build it all the way up to that tree, and then this will be pretty good. Okay, clean this area up nice. The other problem I have is always maintaining this back two acres. So I took the disc collier and the tractor and just ran over everything back here. Now, I was getting a lot of squash and zucchini out of this back because I threw a bunch of seed back here and they were still producing, but I'm sick and tired of squash and zucchini. And you can see it just keeps carving its way all the way down until it gets to the other property. But there you go. There's my property line right there. So just clear, cleaning this all up. Nice. Okay, on to other news. Well... Looks like uh, the election's, what, 80 days away? Now you got Bi Biden and uh, Camelia Harris. <laughs> Camelia, whatever her name, Harris. But I don't see there's going to be any real issue. North Carolina's Trump country all the way. Believe me. <laughs> uh, I, don't see, I don't see where anything's going to happen other than Trump 2020. So there you go. And the COVID-19 thing, it's uh, it's still bad. The numbers are still going up. The infection rate's still going up. Kids are going back to school now. It's like phase three. We're in phase three. Feels like phase one. <laughs> no, no different. Well, at least not for me anyway. But look at how it's clean. See how it's, that disc collier and that tractor, if you, and this stuff was four to five foot tall. All you have to do is run over it a bunch of times. See, and it cuts it down like a bush hawk. See? And the weeds were high up here too. And there's a lot of places where there was a lot of dirt, but still, it knocked it down pretty good. Getting ready for fall. Now the temperatures are back mid 80s again. Thank God, man. Three months we're 90 plus hundred degree every day for 90 days. It was in, it's miserable. I mean, hell, I got a tan from hell. Look at my arms. Shit. Just call me Pablo. I'm dark, man. Oh yeah. Now you can see all the way in all the way in the back. Look at that. 
all the way down to the creek. That looks great. Man, what an improvement. What a beautiful two acres. Still got a lot of trees. And then next five to 10 years, these will all get big. Nice cluster of trees right down there. I left those. There's about 15 of them. Yep. This is kind of like my black forest, the black forest back like in Germany. This is my black forest down here. About five, 10 more years, this will all grow in. All these trees will get super big and it'll be a nice canopy over, over this two acres. And then I'll get the grass to grow and put wild flowers back here and fruit trees and all kinds of other wild natural roots and rutabakers and seedlings of all types. And then this will become like an organic uh, forest where you can come back here and forage and get all kinds of little goodies to eat. Nice. Yep, looking good. Yeah, the neighbor's cat's over here scoping stuff out. He's over there. See, I kept this real nice clump of trees. Provides a lot of shade. A lot of trees there. Just trees all over. Good canopy. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. This whole thing, the last six months, well, last five months, have just been absolutely weird. People are people are absolutely different. You know, everybody's trying to still go about their daily life. And here goes that bee again. <laughs> everybody's trying to go about their daily life, and there's just that something missing. You know what I'm saying? There, it's, it's, it's weird. Can't put your finger on it. It's not so much the mask. It's not so much the social distancing. It's not, not any of that. It's just things have changed. People are different. I don't know if it's good or bad. Hmm, what do you think? I know it's like this everywhere. But that's okay. We'll get through this, but we'll be... We'll definitely be a changed society, for sure. Oh yeah, like my new little larger and improved pond. Nice. Okay. This video is probably over 10 minutes already. But the work never ends. You're always doing something. Even on a small four acres. Can you imagine if this was 40? Shit. I'd have to work here full time. Okay, guys. I'll upload this when I get to the house. It's Sunday, whatever date it is. The 14th, whatever date. 13th, 14th. Not sure. Who's keeping track? But I'll talk to you guys later. You know what to do. Leave those comments, thumbs up, subscribe, share, like. And uh, I'll catch you guys on another handyman video or another farming video or another are you hungry video <laughs> or, are you on a, or another off-grid farm video. <laughs> I'll catch you on some video. You guys, you know what to do. Stay safe. Time out of here.